Hi guys, it's G, and today I'm going to do an unboxing and first impression of the Canon Selfie CP1300. So this is a completely new product for me. I have never had a photo printer before. I've shied away from them because in the past the product seems to have been kind of high maintenance and really expensive but it's really gotten a lot more compact and convenient and so many other people who I watch in other channels like My Little Journal, they use the Canon Selfie to print photos for their journals and for their, for like their traveler's notebook and for their um, project life and it just seems really convenient and I take a lot of pictures and I have, I have thousands and thousands of photos that I've taken like many of you and I've printed very few of them. So I thought I'd just take the plunge and buy a photo printer. Now the only difference is that Canon just came out with the CP1300, um, so there aren't really any reviews and there's not a lot of videos on this. So I just thought I'd do this video to help anybody else who's in the market or wants to get a first look at what comes with this. Okay, so let's just get right into it. Warranty, instructions in four languages. I think this is a sample of the 4x6 paper. It's not very much of it. So if you are wanting one, you probably want to buy an extra pack, which I've done. Here is the cassette that holds the paper. Let's see. Here's the printer. Oh my gosh, it really is really tiny. You can kind of, if I had slightly bigger hands, I could just hold it with one, like palm it like a basketball. Wow. This is, I think, the ink. Cord. And this is the converter. Okay, let's get this set up. Plastic, take that off. Plastic over these buttons. So that's where the cord goes in. I think you can get a battery pack to make this really portable on the go, which I don't have. This is the LCD screen. In this model, it's supposed to be bigger than the previous 1200, which has been around for a while and I think everybody has. And then if you open this, Here's where the SD card goes. I think this is where the cartridge goes. The ink goes on this side here. So let's open this up. You're gonna stay balanced there. This is the ink. Oop. Yep, I'm gonna go one way. Load this cartridge. There's an open here. You can lift this out, and then there's another open there, and you can lift that out. Take this and open this up. To load it glossy side up. Take this sheet off, like that. And then I, I'm reading the directions, you're supposed to leave this open. So I'm gonna open this. And insert this. This is really dummy proof, hopefully. And it clicks into place, right there. And I'll plug the adapter in. A giant adapter. The adapter is almost as big as a printer. Okay, let's turn it on. Okay, I want to test printing from an SD card. 
Okay, so I've inserted the SD card and I've selected an image. So I am going to choose the number of prints I want, which is just one. And then press OK. This is a preview, I don't know what that means. Oh, I guess if I make any changes, but I don't think I want to. I just want to test this. So I'm just going to say print. Ooh. That seemed like a lot of noise. Now from the other videos I know, this is the layer of the coating that's going on now. Wow, that is really like magic. Look at that. I think that's a pretty good looking print. I would like to see if I can print this um, two up on a four by six, so I can do some memory planning in my Hobonichi. But this size would be great on a Project Life sleeve. Let's all go back to menu. So I'm gonna go under more print options. What are options here? Okay, let's see. Two by six inch print, what I've done, two up fixed size print. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna select this one. and this one. I'm gonna say okay for preview. I hope that's fine. I really don't, I can't see anything on there, but I'm gonna hit print and see what happens. really nice. Those are sweet little sizes for the Hovenichi. Let's see what the border probably isn't so even. But if I wanted to, I could trim them down or I could decide to put a border around them. That looks Really nice, wow. There's also a party shuffle, I think, that can give you like eight images on one of these. So let me see what that looks like. Okay, so these are from 2015, as you can see, and I haven't printed them out. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna select some of these. This is from a camping trip that we took. I'll select that image and that image and that image. Okay, I'm gonna hit preview. And I'm gonna hit print. Wow, I really like this. It's just a really great idea. So overall, I've got to say I'm very impressed. Just my initial impression, this is a great thing to have, you know, when I go out and I shoot a whole day of activities and then I can just throw the SD card in here and not have to worry about uploading them and tweaking them. I can just print them straight out of the camera and they're really really nice prints. I just think these look fantastic and I like that there is several options just already in the printer so you can have two up, you can have one four by six and you can have a shuffle which gives you a lot of different variations just on one four by six. So it looks like it's pretty flexible just right out of the gate. Um, I know that there are probably even more options if you were going to download an app like PickFrame and work with that, which would even give you more control. So those are some things just to consider. 
As far as I'm concerned though, this has been a great investment. I'm gonna enjoy actually getting to print my photos and to journal them and to memory keep them and see them in one place rather than just swiping them on the phone. All right, thanks so much for watching. Thank you.